Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today uh, this is a question sent in by a YouTube subscriber of mine. Uh, and Tracy Shaw, this is a shout out to you. You wanted to know how do I break up on another video that I posted? How do I break up Jane M. Doe with periods in there into first name, middle name, last name, and I assume the domain name. I don't think that was in your question, but we're going to show you how to do all of that. Now, in that previous video, I showed you several ways to break up some text from an email, but you wanted to know how to specifically do that. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it the quickest, easiest way if you have a standard set of data like this. Now, if you don't have a standard set of data, um, tomorrow in the next couple of days video, I'm going to show you how to break it up for different types of, let's say you had Jane Doe, period Doe at xxx.com or just Jane at xxx.com and then uh, uh, same thing what if you had um, some different combinations of this. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do this in a formula tomorrow. Uh, today I'm going to show you the easier way on how to break that up. So here's what I would do is uh, what we want to do is we want to click on the cell or you could even do it as a highlighted multiple cells. So let's just type in another one here. Let's do Steve dot uh, T dot Steve True at edt.com. Let's try that one as well, and we'll show you how to do it on multiple uh, values at the same time. All right, so I'm going to highlight both of those email addresses, and I'm going to go up to my data ribbon. And when you click on the data ribbon, there is this text to columns function uh, button, and you want to click on that one. And here's what we want to do we want to choose delimited. And we first want to take care of this one on the far right. Now, see, if you do other, you're going to have it where the last name is going to be with the at symbol. So we want to just do this in order of operations. First, we want to click on the other and type in the at symbol. This is how we're going to get the domain all by itself. You can just go ahead and click on finish. Notice that we now have the domain, and I'm going to copy and move that over to my domain column. Now, my email ad or my names are all by themselves. I'm going to go back to my data ribbon. I'm going to go to the text to columns function. And I'm going to do the delimited one again. And here's where I'm going to change it to a period. And I'm just going to hit finish there. And lo and behold, we now have first, middle, last for those two different email addresses uh, because they are always delimited with a period. And, but first, we got to put the domain by doing just the at symbol first. So, Tracy, hopefully that helps you with the, what you need to do right now. Tomorrow, I'll show you some uh, formulas using left and find and mid uh, and answer my Friday challenge. Thank you.